Hi, everybody. Diane, Healing Bodies, Healing Souls. And I was talking to a client today, and so, so many people are having it rough right now, and I get it with all the hoopla that's going on, the anxiety that people are getting, watching their children have to process through something that we've never processed in our life. So I get it. And so what I want to talk about today is that love is, love is, love is tough because love requires you to show up in truth. That's why I'm saying love is tough. It's not, I love my children that hard love. I'm not talking necessarily about that. Some people title it, but out of love, I show up to get the job done, to do what I know is right. And with children is to parent them through what they're going through. And it may be uncomfortable, but for the love of my children, I'm going to show up. So maybe love is tough because love is going to require you to show up and it isn't always pretty. It isn't always pretty, but if you want true love, I want to teach you how to show up, how to be strong, how to be powerful, how to speak your truth. Satnam means I speak truth, even when it's uncomfortable. That I own my words and I know what I'm saying and I don't hide. And when it gets uncomfortable, I show up. For my clients, I show up for them. But sometimes I can let it down pretty hard and I get real rough with them. And it's all out of love. And sometimes I want to kind of misbehave and I've got to show up pretty rough for myself. And it's out of love. Now, the ones that are not showing up when they need to, I call those parents like babysitters. Where you know you need to take charge and a babysitter doesn't have responsibility long term. A babysitter is there for four, five, six hours or maybe even a weekend. And so they just take care of that moment. They're not looking long term. And in love of relationship, parenting of a husband and wife or significant others, love is showing up in the space for long term to happen. Now, as an ex-wedding photographer, I can tell you stories that would curl your hair. And maybe that's why my hair is so curly. They, they omit truth. They sugarcoat things. They lie. And we all know now that we're thinking about it right now, that that is not going to help for a long-term relationship, no matter who it's with. So it's time to stand up, show up for love. To stay in the game. And don't just get out if it's uncomfortable. Let's just stay in the game for love. I'm hoping this makes sense to you. I'm hoping that this is kind of getting you to understand that showing up, omitting truth, being weak, not dealing with the issue, not finding the solution and just kind of putting it underneath the rug hoping that it'll go away with your kids or your significant other, or even in business, it won't. It takes a strong person to love. It takes an empowered person to love. And I've done things that are beyond painful because I had to stay in the game for love. That's, that's the only thing that we do things for is for love. Love of the future, 
love of that person and or that animal. Gosh, when I was little, no, not little, in high school, one of our dogs was old and it needed to be put down. It just really, really needed to put down. And, and my mom couldn't, my dad couldn't. And so do you see how if I was older that I would have put the dog down, not because I'm cruel, because I understand that I've got to do things, even if it's uncomfortable, not necessarily for me, but for that animal or for that person. One of my male friends, he's a pretty cool cat. I, uh, we had some strong words. And uh, he was upset with me and I still held my space. And then I ran into him a couple weeks later and he came up to me and he said, um, we're both strong minded. And I said, thank you. I'll give you that. And he said, what you said was right, but I just couldn't handle it or hear it in that moment. And I says, I 100% understand that. But when I speak, I've got to speak my truth. That is the, the gift that I give you and I and friendship. And he said, thank you. And so that's what I'm talking about. It takes a strong person to really be able to hold space for love. And yeah, it gets uncomfortable at times. And welcome to the adult world. And that's what I want to teach you, especially with your children. If they're misbehaving, if they're not doing well, you, you jump on it and not just ignore it, put it aside. Think that he or she is going to outgrow it because they won't. It's parenting. And that is love. You kind of knuckle down. You stand up. And, it's, and I hope and I pray that this makes sense to you, that when I do things like this, I stand in the space of love. That's all that exists. And sometimes in my sessions, I don't mean to scare you off, of course, but in my sessions, <laughs> I can get pretty uh, rough with them. And then afterwards, once it finally gets into their ego and it gets into their heart space that is protected and walled, and then we relax and I can say, you know, I, I don't want to hit you that hard, but I got to get in to that heart that is blocked, that is walled, that the ego is saying, no, 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 no. I don't like change. Don't listen to her. Ignore, abort, hide, leave the body. I said, if I have to roughen up to get you to understand and that's what I'm going to do. And some of my clients, I'll look at them and I'll say, you still like it? And they're like, absolutely, yes, yes. And thank you for showing up. And thank you for being there. And thank for you to drive it, drive it, and drive it until I heard it. And then some of my sessions are just absolutely groovy and beyond magical and spiritual and mystical. And then there's moments where I've got to stop poor behavior. And I'm realizing that people just don't know how to stand in power. And it's time. If you need permission to stand in power and own who you are and fight for love, then I give you that permission. And if you need help learning how to be that person that doesn't waver when it is scary, then I'm here to serve you. I do individual sessions on Zoom. They're recorded and it's mandatory that you sit and watch them because I want you to watch and see your behavior and see how you go in and out of responsibilities. And I wanna teach you to be a stand-up person even when it's scary, even when your knees are weak and do right in those moments because wrong will show up. So thank you for listening. 
any questions, any wisdom, insight, I'm 100% here and able to listen and wanting to. And when you're ready to deep dive in and explore the fullness of who you are, please give me a call. I'm Diane Gazine, Healing Bodies, Healing Souls. Been doing this for well over 30 years. I'm psychic, intuitive. I channel um, higher energy for clarity and answers. So you'll be in excellent hands. And it'll be completely different than probably what you've ever experienced. And maybe it's time to get to know you at a deeper level. And thank you.